Hi Floss Tubes, we are the Cross Stitching Cousins. I'm Kelsey. And I'm Constance. And it's episode, is it episode? Floss Tube, yep. how do you want to say it? <laughs> episode number 13. And welcome back. We've been gone a long time. A long time, but I it's think summertime. it was March. <laughs> it was March last time. It's April, May, June. It's June. Oh, well. So okay. sorry, we didn't quit. We just, life happens. We got busy. So she had a birthday. Yes, I did in may and we took our girls to the zoo that was so fun and what was their favorite part would you say um my I... kids loved the giraffes mm -hmm. oh the and train. the elephants oh the train my son didn't want to get off the plane the, the plane <laughs> the train my kids hated the carousel <laughs> mine didn't care for it when she saw the other kids crying yeah that was really fun though. That we went to the Utah Hobo Zoo, and it's big. There's a lot it's to big. see. How long would you say we were there? Like two hours or something. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. Um, it was like not a super hot day, which was nice too. It was way we went in the perfect time. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too crowded. It was perfect. Yeah. And we had lunch. Oh my gosh, that place was good. If you go to the Utah Hobo Zoo, what's that place called? It was in the zoo. I don't know, Ow. but it's stuff. I it's the only restaurant. It's in like there. oh, it is. Mm -hmm. I oh. think so. I didn't see another food. Place. It's like a barista, or barista, something like that. Because it had tacos, pizza, hamburgers, sandwiches. sandwiches, salads, so you could pick what you wanted. It was nice, and their fries were pretty good. Really good. I had a hamburger. It was I even took delicious. my fries home the next day and air fried them. I did the same. Actually, I might have done it that night. <laughs> they were was good. Really good. Um, so that was fun. We went to a wedding of our cousins. Oh, yeah. We, I got a puppy. It is a Bernadoodle, so a Bernice Mountain Dog with a poodle mix. And it's a mini, so he should get about 22 pounds. Wow. And his name is Ben. He's cute. I've seen pictures. Um... He's kind of annoying, uh, kind of annoying because he's so young. He's only 15 weeks, almost 16 weeks, actually. Wow. He's just a baby. It's like another pup. It's like another kid. <laughs> it's so much work. That's why I haven't been cross-stitching a lot, especially because my time for cross-stitching is when my kids go to bed at night. Mm -hmm. And so, like, that's his playtime. It's like, oh, man, it's just me and you. Let's play. And I'm like, oh, dude. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> this is when I cross it. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's fun. Um, I'll post a picture on Instagram. What else are we up to? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Wait, there was Easter. We had Easter. Easter was fun. Memorial Day? Yes, Memorial Day. What did we do? You were here. Oh, yeah. I think I just hung out with my parents and my in-laws. Nothing crazy. Just did barbecues. you split the day in half? Memorial Day? With like your family, his family? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was nice. I spent the day with my husband's family. And we went to my father-in-law's grave. That was fun. Mm. Um, and then my brother had his gender reveal. And your sister graduated from my high school. sister graduated from Her high school. Her baby sister. Yeah. So That's crazy. All my siblings are graduated. So weird. That is weird. My brother's having a girl. Yes, we're so excited. That'll be so fun. Um, I, I feel like there's a lot, but I don't know. Can't remember everything. I can't either. It's been busy. It's gone by so fast. Yeah. So, okay. That's basically our life update. What about your three things? Oh, my three things are... I found this, well, my mom introduced me to this strawberry lemonade with collagen from Walmart. What? And it is so good. You can't even tell. It just tastes like strawberry lemonade. So and you just put it in water and... Do you know what collagen is? I don't. It's, uh, it helps. I know it helps with your skin, your nails, your hair. So it's, you, like, you have a natural collagen in your body and that just helps add it to it. It just adds to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... I mean, you can buy, like, the tubs from Costco, Sam's. They have them, like, everybody has their own version and brand and flavor. But you like this. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It tastes like summer in a cup. 
Sweet, I'll try it. <laughs> and then fun. my other one, I only have two this time. I found this new hair oil from Revive and Kelsey introduced me to Revive oils. And they just came out with this healthy hair. And I've been trying it for about a week, so I couldn't tell you the results or good or bad. But So what do you do? You just put five to ten drops like on your scalp, wherever you think, and then you like massage massage it in and let it sit for five, ten minutes. Or if you wanna get crazy, you could put it in before you go to bed and then put like a shower cap on or uh sorry I have a scrummaging through her back. <laughs> oh you're fine. <laughs> or something to protect your hair. Okay. Like from your pillow. And then you just wake up and shower like normal. So what do you put on your hair? When I wake up, because I don't normally shower till li like my baby naps. Okay. So as soon as I get up, I put it in. That way it sits for a minute or about an hour or two. You just put it from ponytail down? Then you put it on your scalp. Oh, your scalp. And a little goes a long way. Like it's not the more... Does it make your hair look greasy? Uh -uh. Can you tell? Oh, no. It looks fresh. Mm -hmm. Looks good. What does it smell like? Uh, you'll have to smell it for yourself. It's not bad. It smells like an essential oil to me. <laughs> it smells amazing. Like I want to be in the bottle. You're funny. Um, yeah, it smells like... It just smells like earthy. Yeah, there's a lot of like lavender, uh, cedar wood. Oh yeah, that's exactly how it's explained. Castor, yeah. rosemary, thyme, peppermint, geranium. So you'll have tree. to give us more of an update next video. I will. Oh, so far, course. so good. <laughs> I've liked it because I love anything that's natural, but I just thought I'd give it a try. Cool. Um, okay, so I am in a youth group with my church, and I am, we do, I have, the girls are 7 to 11, and I do an activity with them twice a month, but this month we did ice cream. We made homemade ice cream. Mm. And we did it in my backyard, which I would recommend doing it outside. But it was so fun. You put ice cream in, it, like, your ingredients in a quart-sized bag. And then you put your ice and salt in a gallon-sized bag. Put the quart in the gallon, and then you just roll it mm -hmm. for, like, ten minutes. Turns in ice cream. Ooh, it was super-duper fun. I would just recommend doing it outside because the bags break. Mm -hmm. Especially when they get a little vigorous. It's so shaky. And kids are messy anyway. But it was really cute. The, they had a lot of fun. So that's it was just a fun summer activity. Mm -hmm. So that's an idea. Um, and I can link the recipe down below that I used. It was, I believe it's from all recipes. Very simple. It had like half and half sugar, vanilla. I think that's it, actually. That sounds good. <laughs> and then... I've been watching Poldark. It's on Amazon Prime, but it's like through PBS. Mm -hmm. Love it. So good. I watched it last summer and it it's one of my favorites. I wish they had oh, more. I wish they were making lots more. Yeah, I think they are making another season. Or at least that's like the rumors, but I don't know how true that is. It says in 2023. Speaking of Poldark, I guess I do have a third one. I've been watching Peaky Blinders and they just came out with their last season. What is it? Peaky Blinders. Peaky? What is it about? Um, like the early 1900s with the prohibition and all those things in Europe. Is it in PBS too? No, I'm oh. sorry. Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Peaky Blinders. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they're, they aired their last season. So is it similar to Polark? No. Oh. It's, that's it's really I, good. You were like, speaking of Poldark, that's why I was like, it must be similar. I forgot we binge watched like four episodes last night. That's fun. Yeah, that's what we do with Poldark. Me and my husband, we it's, love it. Poldark is good. It's, I'm considering watching it again after Peaky Blinders. It, yeah, it's great. Um, okay, and then my third one is I made this fun bracelet for my dog. Uh, it's an anklet. That's cute. And... I made it last night at 10 p.m. <laughs> it was so we knew we were making bracelets. I had to fix my my oh, yeah? this one I made. Did you make Christmas. that one at my house? Oh no no, you got it for Christmas. Yeah, and so That's I cute. I redid it three times I think because I got oh, okay, I'll show you. yes, <clears throat> there was too many of the black 
and it was uneven so I just added a heart and that was the perfect amount for my wrist but it just says mama and so I got the beads for Christmas let's see if you can see that Do you and help? are you good that's good okay. and so I got them for Christmas made the bracelet but I did the the clasps wrong and the string to the clasps wouldn't quite not you they put kept... clasps on that the first time okay so last night I yesterday I went to Hobby Lobby and bought some other stretchy string that would tie a knot because the stuff that I had it wouldn't hold mm -hmm. so I finally got some and then fixed my bracelet oh cool fun yeah. I guess that's what else we're up to. All of a sudden, I got in like a bracelet making thing. I made my daughter three anklets because, you know, for summer, you need an anklet. I love it. I have one. One of them, I put her name. Another one, I put um, cute or oh. cutie or something, and it was red, white, and blue. Oh, cute. I almost made one last night. Really? I thought, oh, I, I should probably go to bed. For your daughter or for you? For me. Okay. She, she can't wear bracelets yet with beads. She'll chew them off. Well, this one is made actually with fishing line. But anyways, what I was telling you is I watched my third thing is the Michael's YouTube channel. Have you ever watched Michael's YouTube? Uh -uh. I didn't even know they had They YouTube. have hour long classes of literally any crafting you can think of. And this was a class. Wow. And it was, it's just been my new obsession last night. I don't know how to like watercolor. I was just watching a video on how to do it and I wasn't really watching it. I was just like hear, hearing background noise. Mm -hmm. It was really fun to watch. Um, and you learn a lot of things from it. So that's good to know. It's, it, yeah, they have a bunch. I'm going to have to check them out because I'm always up for crafting. I think group. like at least twice a week they post a video of a new thing. And you just subscribe to Michael's? Mm hmm. Well, that's interesting. I'm going to have to give it a try. It sounds like you can watch them live online too, but I don't. Cool. So that's fun. The bracelet was fun to make and it was easy to follow. If I can make that, anybody can make that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was fun. All right. So we need to do, oh yes, we got happy now. Yes, we did. And we want to thank Crystal and her husband. They wanted to send us her husband and her decided to send it to us they're like these extra charts that they had that was so nice of them and they are so sweet to think of us and we oh. want to do a giveaway at the end for our anniversary because we know we promised that in our last video so we'll show them here and then we'll show them again but they're from the stitching with the housewives and there's four of them lots of calendar crates march and then this is backyard bakery Barnyard. Or yeah. barnyard, yes. The bees and the bees. And then Sometimes. calendar crates, February. They're really cute. I love them. And I think they're, they're just so cute. fun to have for every month. And calendar crates, September. They're very cute. And so if you guys are wanting to be... Entered. Or entered and want one of these. We will do more at the, or we'll, more details at the end. Yeah. So thank you, Crystal and your husband. That was so sweet. I love getting happy mail. It's exciting. It is. That was our <laughs> first time? Second time. Uh -huh, second time. That was fun. Our first time we got some fun bobbins. Mm -hmm. And I used them to death. I haven't had to buy any for a long time. Thank you, Doc. That's <laughs> awesome. So yes, thank you. Um, We'll start with our finishes. finishes. Do you want me to go? Yeah. Okay, so I have a lot for me. Do you want to like switch <laughs> off or? Because okay. I, I think I have two. Just two. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can switch off. <clears throat> or do you just want to go? And I'll sit here very patiently as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just chime in whenever. If you want to throw your stuff in, go for it. Okay. So... I have been working on, or I worked on the April typography by Pine Mountain Design. And I did the May. <clears throat> well, you've been busy. I know. They're so fun and so simple. And they only, well, I should Is this know. this year's club or last year's or? I don't know. I, oh. I bought them um, Black Friday. You're not getting a month. Oh, no, so I bought them all together. Yeah. Okay. 
And so oh. here's the April. That is so cute. Isn't that fun? Oh, I love all the colors. So I just have this little frame. It looks like this. And I think I got them. I got them at Michael's. And I just stained the edges. And then I put some scrapbook paper behind. Because I didn't think it would be. It's kind of a tight space. And then I put it on some felt. And glued it to like the cardstock. The um, like frame board? Yes. And stuck it on top of the paper. So that's the April. I didn't finish the May. This is the frame for the May. But I do have it. Oh, see, here's the little card stock. Where do you get that board. board? I got it off Amazon. Oh, nice. And this is my May. I that just can't really figure out. Too. I love I the beehive. It. Have fun. Oh, and a bird. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Is that a butterfly? Uh-huh. Oh, I love it. So the butterflies here and here. Oh, And then cute. these are little bees. Oh, my. Flower. And then a heart with a crown in it. Is that one your favorite? Because that's your birthday month. Uh, I, don't, I think June might be my favorite. And I will show you that on my whips. Um, called for floss? Yes, I did all the called for. I haven't changed any on any of them. And I just did it on... I think it was 28 count white, even weave from Hobby Lobby. I just bought the big one and just, you'll see my June isn't cut out. So it's on this big old thing. Do you like stitching it with like chunks? No. Oh, <laughs> you don't I just, to cut it? <laughs> my, my cutters here and oh. I'm usually, and I wanted to start it right now, the June one. And so I thought, oh, I'll wait. And I'll just start it, even though there's this big old thing of fabric on my lap. But, <laughs> a blanket. Yeah, exactly. That's funny. But no, I I planned on cutting it today, so. Okay. That makes sense. So here's my other All-American. I don't have the pattern. It was a PDF, yes, I believe. it was. So <clears throat> it's on my phone. But it looks just like this. Yes. It's beautiful. I, I it. finally like... finished it. It took me exactly a year. Oh, sweet. So... I don't know why I just I stopped it and then I kind of forgot about it and got sidetracked and you know how it goes. So it was in my things to finish and it's the All American. Oh, that's beautiful. All the called for DMC. I don't normally use fancy floss. So actually, I not to like correct you, but I looked at the pattern yesterday because my friend is also doing it. Mm -hmm. The red is actually a week's dye work set so called for. So do you remember what red was? Oh, I don't. Yeah, I used 321. That's okay. my red go-to. Sorry. No, that's... I I, I just remember. saw that yesterday. And so I was like, actually... I know, I'm glad you told me because I do remember that. And I thought, oh, I'll just use my own red because I have... That's what I did. I ...so much in stash. Even that. But I love that. Did you see the summer one? Uh -uh. Oh, dear. That's did so it just cute. come out? I don't know. But it's got a watermelon on it. <gasps> I'm going to have to look at it. It's really, really cute. But actually, you want to know a funny story? I started this last summer when I was watching Poldark. Oh, yeah. And so I just finished. And so, and then I plan on putting it in a, like a white frame. And I have some, uh, actually, I will show you right here. I'm going to put this behind it. I put that exact fabric behind mine. Oh, I copied you. Uh-uh. I put red. I could only find blue. Maybe I found blue. I can't remember. It's from the dollar store. You'll see it next month because it's a 4th of July one. That's my, like, previous finishes. Mm -hmm. This, I, I saw yours. Went to the dollar store. Okay, not the. I went to, like, six. And <laughs> this is the only one that oh they had. Gosh. And I thought, I'll do blue. I don't care. And you were determined. You didn't want to just like go to Hobby Lobby where they knew. They no, had it. I was going to the dollar store. <laughs> and this year they have black. I didn't get black. I either. did, and I got taking stripes too. Well, I might have to go get black now. They really have some cute fabric if you they search do. for it. Yeah, there's some really pretty. Like there was one with uh, flowers and little bicycles. Oh, cute! I don't. I didn't know why I needed it, but I really wanted it. Did you buy it? No. It's a dollar twenty five. I know. I was too busy. I was like, do they have any of this stuff that could be red or more blue? Because I have other projects. The other thing is, um, Walmart also has them just like this. 
Oh, for really? every season too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna have to look at and Walmart. They're similar in price. They're like, it's like similar. Okay. Well, well, good to know because I probably go to Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and the dollar store a weekly. <laughs> I wish I could go more. I just I love the dollar. I go to the dollar store weekly. Oh, it's I like I could walk days. to my dollar store. Lucky. <laughs> and so I'm always like, uh. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Just to get out of the house. And your baby does well? Oh, she loves it. Oh, good. She loves to go down the toilet. I just, she'll reach for anything. I'll let her play with it if she can, if it's not breakable. And she'll just sit there and she'll say hi to everyone in the store a couple times. <laughs> You'll hear a hi, hi, hi. <laughs> so she's, she's easy to take and she's fun. And sometimes I just pack a little baggie of snacks and she'll sit in the back and just eat her snacks. Oh, cute. So That's fun. That's how I entertain her. Wish my kids were like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> for this. Actually, sorry, let me just show you. This fabric came in a roll, just like this, and this too, from Walmart. Oh, it came in the roll, so. That's good to know. Just so you. So then if I want to practice making a project bag, I'm. Do it. I should actually just try it with that bicycle fabric. Do it. I'm going to have to That's go. What I, that was the first thing that came to my home. mind. I'm always like, do they have, because you need two flat yeah. quarters to do one bag. Oh, good to two know. Two of the same. So like this is one, this is one, and then this is one. So you need three or four total? Well, you need four. Okay, so four total. Four total, but like two of the same. Okay, good. Because I really want to make one. Or you can one. just get a yard and you can make like four. <laughs> I probably will end up doing that eventually. I mean, I mean what's should. stopping us? But for this pattern, I b thought this frame would work, and I bought it at Savers, uh, like a donation center or a DI here. And turns out it's a little too short, so I'm going to put something else in it. It won't go to waste, that's for sure. And then I found this one, and I really liked the background, so I thought maybe that would I could just pop these letters off or put it on top and add some accessories around it too bad you don't have a boy i know and they were this one was like four dollars and the other one was like ten but i thought for a prod or a finish that's not bad mm -hmm. okay do you want to go and then yeah. i'll do my last two so i don't know you what finished this is it called. what is this called lucky charm yes i I, it took me like three days to stitch it. This is before I had a puppy. <laughs> Did you do the call for colors? No. Okay. So accidentally, okay. I think I mixed up my red and my brain. And so I did the wrong red, but, um, I think it's, I like that red. I changed I, my red. What I did on accident was like pulled from my stash and I got the wrong number and I thought, Oh, it'll be fine. I went to the store to grab the wrong, the right one. Cause I'd run out of red. Cause you use a lot. Yeah. And I was like, this is not a right. So let me go back to the store. <laughs> Anyways, my mom's doing it too. I saw it at your mom's house. So she, yeah, she saw it and was like, we need to do that. And so I was like, okay, let's do it. So what I did different, called for yellow there. This is etoile or etoile. Okay, tell me more. I'm intrigued. Instead of doing that nasty whatever you were talking about last video. Yeah. I used a twat and it's amazing. Where do you get that? Hobby Lobby. Oh. And my mom put it right here, which was really smart. But by the time I was here, I didn't have this. And so I just like kept going. See, my rainbow is all done. And I thought, I'm not going to mess with that other, I think it's DMC that I'm using. It's like, and I thought, oh, I'll just do it for the charm part. Well, and this the... is DMC a twat. Okay. See, mine was just the little it's like sparkly with the yellow. And so okay. I put it there and there. It's a lot easier. And this is just um, paper, just like the fat quarter shop. My mom got me this frame. It's from Hobby Lobby. That is so cute. And then she actually did it for me. That's Lucky. why it looks professionally done. <laughs> when I don't, when I do it, it doesn't. <laughs> that is so cute. So that was really fun. I'm sorry I didn't finish that one. So it, it really didn't take long because it's filling. And once you memorize it you're just like oh, okay got it that, the colors were easy i just have to finish the pot i think i've outlined most of the pot i just have to fill it in but yeah. i like i said i got distracted with the all-american and i wanted to finish that for this video so i did that last night oh yeah 
So my mom helped me finish that one. That was really fun to do. You I'm want excited. To go next? No, you, you can do your other up? one. Okay. It's more fun to watch yours. Oh, gee. No, it's not. I love, <laughs> love watching it. Ooh, I like this one. Forget me not by Blackbird Designs. Um, I explained my changes last one. I just did basically the DMC that was called for. That is so... And then the fur the... This is like not my idea, but like I changed so I have a coal, I have a chow. Oh, so you made them a little darker. I made them darker for the names that are in my family. Okay, and the, did you do? Did you say you used DMC? I used the oh. called for DMC, I believe. Um, That's a cute idea. In the in these pots, you're supposed to put like initials in there of like people that have passed away, and I just didn't. I just kept with the design in there, so I just kept going on the design. That's a cute idea. Um, and then this is framed at Hobby Lobby. Okay. There's no glass. Do you like Hobby Lobby? Are I'm you happy with them? I'm really happy with them. There, there's no glass on here, and it was a custom frame. And somebody asked us to talk about frame prices. Yeah. So I use Hobby Lobby or Michaels every time. Okay. This was $68 to get framed. Custom frame, no glass, though. Okay. So that's not too bad. I don't I have don't... anything framed from... I just... On my finishes, I'll show you. They're my first framed professionally. So it's good to know. I didn't know how much they were. They... Uh, and it takes them, like, two weeks, usually. That's so not bad. It's, it's really not terrible. It could be better. <laughs> but apparently all their frames are usually always 50% off. Uh, which is really good. But like you can also buy their frames there and have them put it in. If you have them put it in, it's a needle art fee of like sixteen dollars. It used to be twelve. They went up to sixteen. And that like you could go to any of their frames in their frame section. Mm -hmm. Any oh, of their okay. frames, but it's different because when they do a custom frame, the width of the frame to like the back of the frame, they make it specific for needle art. Mm -hmm. So like the width of it is thicker. But they can shove it in to like their normal frames if it does fit. And I'll, that's a heck of a lot cheaper. Like I've done one for like, I think the frame was like $12 plus a needle art fee. So it came to like $25. Oh, that's not bad at all. If you use one of their frames. Sometimes I also add a mat to their frame, which mm -hmm. makes it like another $12 or something. Mm -hmm. And they'll just cut it for you there. Oh, that's nice. That's good to know. So that's, that's Hobby Lobby. And that's similar to Michael's too. So let me tell them about yours. Okay, so mine, I finished the Just My Type, finally. And I went with a red frame. I know so I talked cute. about getting like a like this green or like a teal color, but they didn't have one that I liked that matched well enough. So I went with the red. And I did the museum glass and so this frame, they had options of the similar colors, but they were more of like a whitewash, rustic, and they were cheaper. I don't know like the pricing exactly, but she did say these solid colors were more expensive. And I couldn't tell you individually because I, I got two together, but together they were about $293, 296 So it is a bit more expensive because I got the glass and the frame and I got these done at the craft center. So this is the just my type. And I believe you can mail your stuff to her. I I'm not sure. Maybe I know she's about 20 minutes from me, so um there's also like shops on Etsy that can make your frame specific. Mm -hmm. And then Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Uh-huh. She makes home frames. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So this is my other one. It's finally finished. And That's I, super so, cute. I almost hung it up when I got home, but I didn't. <laughs> it's a little too, too out of holiday. So this is my Witchy Washi by Raise the Roof. And same thing, I did the museum glass. And then this frame wasn't as much as the solid. I know that, but I just... That seems weird. Like, is it like thicker? Mm -hmm. I think it's... Probably it's probably just like the, the color or something. And the supply of it. Yeah. Oh, or yeah. What I have. Because I know she said they were switching and they didn't have all of the colors that they had up on the wall. 
Mm. And so she said, you tell me what you like and I'll tell you if we have it. Okay. And so that was, yeah. And they, and I ended up putting, her mom helped me put on the little buttons from just another button company. They look so cute. I love it. I am so excited. And it fits exact, like there's no room to breathe where it's going to go. Really? So, like, it, I didn't even measure. I was just like, this is the frame I want and this is where it's going. And there's just enough around it. Oh, fit. you mean like on the wall? Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Where in by my laundry? Because you bought all room. of all of the seasons. Yes. They're all gonna wear in the same frame. No. Like a, like a different frame, but like similar look. Yeah, though they're gonna be very similar and they're gonna hang in the same spot. But I do know that they're not all as long. From oh. trying to buy the fabrics, I realized some there. It's just like a couple stitches here and a couple stitches there. But I oh. think that might be the longer one. And so, and I don't know, because the Valentine's one, I just got my fabric and I'm so excited. The, um, the Uncle Sam, that's not Uncle Sam. It's Raise the, the Roof. Raise the Roof, uh, Valentine's. Actually, I'm going to show that right now, if you are okay Do it, with that. do it. Because I've been waiting for, you guys know how long I've talked about getting this fabric, and I tried to buy two other ones that didn't match. Look at this cute gingham bag. Is this new? No, we, I bought it when they came out. I bought out. that too. I know, isn't that a cute, my cute little strawberry? Oh, my oh cute. Is on the different bag. Oh, this is part of the haul. <laughs> well, Love this was just pink, and I could not have a pink okay. bag for a Valentine's cross stitch. Because I'm not very good at cross stitching with holidays. I like to jump all over, as you'll see in my haul. <laughs> but <laughs> I guess I do too. This finally came in. Ooh. And I got it from 123 Stitch. That is such a rich color. It does not look as rich on the camera. No, it looks really washed out. I wonder if you like put it up with like a like a white thingy? Maybe white behind it? Nope, that's making it worse. Oh, well, it's really pretty. Really, per it's the perfect It's like pink. the color of this right there. Yeah, the darker, and if you have this bag. And I will show you what it looks like so you guys know. So it's Love Laundry. And this was 32 count cotton candy vintage linen from Lakeside Linens. And I, like I said, I was able to get it through 123 Stitch. And so here's what it will look like. That is really cute. And I really like her frame. So I don't know if I'll copy her frame, like the same colors, or if I will, who knows. I would like, love the inset of the red. Red? Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Red with the black. Mm -hmm. And so part of my haul is I have that all kitted up. I got all the floss and the fabric, and I just have to get it started. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. So that's that my plans and my haul. It's going to be fun. I was so excited. And it's perfect. Like I said, I bought two others, and they just, I wasn't happy with them. Mm. That one I definitely am. Really cute. Um... Should I do a whip? Yes, I think that's all of my finishes. I guess it is. So. Okay, okay. All right, so I got, this is part of my haul, but like it's already started, so it's now a whip. So this is called Swan Lake by Blackbird. It just reminded me of my mom and dad. So I got this in this cute bag from Backward Shop. That came with the teacup. Yes, but stitch. I bought it separate. Okay. Oh, wow. Called for DMC and... Do you have to fill that house in? Oh, you are. I was yeah. looking at the pattern, sorry. Yeah, so I'm filling it in. Of course, I'm using DMC. Um, it looks like I'm doing a little bit of a color change. I'm also not doing that. I think I'll do like a heart. Oh, okay. It just reminded me of my mom and, oops, I was just showing you the back. Oh, I was like, wow. <laughs> and it's Your on, back looks amazing. It's on um, like a cream 14 count from Hobby Lobby. Uh -huh. Nope, actually it's not. It's on like a white chocolate from Witchell from Fat Quarter Shop. Okay, even better. I just remembered that. <laughs> So that was, that's really fun. Um, I'm kind of doing that for like a Mother's Day, Father's Day. Do they know about it? They do now, apparently. 
No, they, they like help me pick out. The <laughs> I was going to say, if your mom's watching, she's going to know. Yeah, because she hasn't seen it. But now she probably has because I didn't tell her to stop looking. Um, <clears throat> Just send her a text before we post this video. That's a good idea. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. It was for Mother's Day, Father's Day. It's just it just reminded me of my mom and dad. And I feel like they needed it. So, oh, they kind of helped me pick up the design. Oh, that's good. Uh, but I liked this one the best, so I was hoping they would pick it. It's so. really pretty. I like I like it a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Want me to go? Yeah, do a whip. Do you have a whip? Yes. I have to find it right here. So, in the prim bag. Yes. Here's my whip. Have it in my little sheet protector. Oh, that's cute. Those that's cherries cool. get me. I oh, look at that June. It's like a watermelon. I love it. And then the lemons and the oh, I love it all. See, see this one. I think is my favorite. It's the whole it's when the I saw details this one, that they put in them, huh? Yes, that one was the whole reason I bought the. Whole seat, the the lady bugs at the bottom. Okay. Oh, that's cute right there. So here's my big sheet of even like blanket. Yes. <laughs> so this is as far. <laughs> oops, that's the back. As far as I've gotten, but I was doing it this morning and I realized I totally skewed the U. So I have to go unfrog all that, but. It's beautiful. I've only been, I think it's been like. Look at your cute needle minder. My little fawn. That's cute. With a little pink bird. I like it. But yeah, so I'm going to cut this and then fix the U. But that's, I think, my only whip. Oh, no. I mean, I have my lucky charm I can show you real quick. I'll get my whip ready. And then this is my only whip as of this minute oh you know what i found in this bag my prices for the frames oh so the there the one was 132 and then the other one was 139 so it was only a couple dollars difference oh sweet but here's my my lucky charm oh cute and so they're on this I know I have it backwards, but my mom suggested, she's like, why don't you try doing, if it was me, I love purple and blue and not, I'm not a huge red fan. And I thought, well, I'm neither am I. And she said, why don't you do the red over here and go the other way? That's really cute too. And I thought, well, why not? I what do I that. have to lose? <laughs> so that's why mine looks a little different. I think it's cute. It's so still a cute little rainbow. I love it. Mm -hmm. it gives it character and it's a little different yeah but, but yeah so those are my two whips okay so i am working on um flea market flowers or i started it and i'm having a ton a ton a ton of fun with it why didn't you tell me we could have done it together well let's do it together i'm not that far <laughs> so this is what i work on when my dog's not in my face is it like okay. it's perfect oh You're doing okay a great job this is on 16 count from Hobby Lobby, and it is um, ivory. I like that color. Love this pattern. It brings me so much joy. It is probably one of my favorite Lori Holt patterns. It's like breathtaking. It I is. love this one. So. And did you see there? I texted her, but the new stitch card she came out with, oh. Stitch Card M, I think that one's my next favorite of hers. It's I, I, I like glanced at it. I love it. It's really cute. Uh, I saw a strawberry and a little, I think it was a little teacup. Cute. And a little uh, quilt, quilting square. Oh, yeah. I can't remember the other one, but it was really cute. This is a free pattern. It is from Pam Pedersen. I'm only doing this part. Ooh, what are you going to do with that part? Make it a pillow. <gasps> cute. So that's my start on that. I'm doing it similar to pumpkin pillow quilts. So that was fun. You make me want to stitch Halloween too. Oh. I'm this next one. 
This is the PDF from Fat Quarter Shop, Fright Night. And stitched it on the call for fabric from Fat Quarter Shop and the call for DMZ. Ooh. I'm having a ton of fun with this one. So that's. What are you going to do with it? Like, how are you going to finish it? Similar to that without the foo foo on the bottom. Do you have that frame? No, but I'll find <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm sure it's, she's really good at telling you where the frame is and where where it's from. I bet it's from Hobby Lobby. But that's really cute. Does it say I'll show it on one there? more time? I'm sure everyone's seen it, but Oh uh, yeah, it's it's a fun one, super fun one. I guess you could I guess I'm gonna have to go back and get the black version because it's in here. You're gonna have to. So I didn't even realize. You know, I think they had ribbon really close to, um, like, the gingham and the polka dots, and it was, like, all Halloween stuff. I was there a couple weeks ago when I saw it. <gasps> My mom got me the stand. so fun. There's a bee right there. It's called it. their bee's knees. Have you seen her new needle minder with the bee? Yes, it's so cute. Oh, oh. And they said once that one's out, they're going to change it and put a new color in. Oh, were they? Yeah, I love this. I kept it in my kitchen. Oh, that is so <laughs> fun. fun. Okay. That's all my whips. Do you have any whips? Nope. My only other my haul were my magazines are just coming. Ooh. Love them. They're mm. fun. I love those. It's always like, it's like Happy Mail. Then it comes going, well, I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. More things I'm going to have to do. <laughs> Um, do you have hope? Yes, I've got plenty of hope. It's been building up. <laughs> so besides floss, um, I bought some, I bought this pattern. I found, I've been eyeballing them and I found it for like $7. And so I went and bought the floss and kitted it all up. It's the, oh, heart and hand bl bloom. Cute. And I don't know, it's all the call for floss. I don't know which fabric I'm gonna use yet, but when I found this, I also found little scraps. And this has a whole bunch of colors oh, in smart. it. So I thought maybe one of these, I will probably do it on. And they don't have a name or anything, they're just odds and ends. Where'd you get them from? The craft center. Okay. They were sitting by the door when you walk out and I thought, oh, I need some new colors. And this way I can, if I like a color, I can use, like look for it, if not, I don't have to use it. It's just a scrap. Good idea. Um, I also got what these. Those? So these were at the craft center as well. They just came with the um, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, uh, the like the kit. Uh, but anyways, there's a button, and there's the uh, you all you had to do was buy the floss. They had the. I don't even know what this is called. Oh, it's like called paper. Perfor perforated paper. Yes. There's that. There's other paper to put behind that. And then some ribbons. If I can't show you the pattern, I didn't think about it. I can't show them all. I can show you the, the back of it. This one's my favorite. It's going to look like Frankenstein. Oh, my. His little neck thing and hair. That's so cute. How creative. And it'll say, let me be Frank. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's cute. And then this one just says October. And it has... That one you can turn around, right? Oh, yeah. It has a pumpkin, a spider, a cat. Oh, that's really cute. Love it. And then this one will say The Witch's Inn. And it has... I mean, it looks like the other one, but it has a little cauldron with a fly. Cute. It's really cute. So that was my other oh. haul. And I think that was... And then I just bought all the floss to go with it and pull from my stash. Fun. I, I love that. That was everything. And then your plans are to... Do the love laundry. I want to start that one. And I would like to start these little kits. Cute blocks. And finish my All-American. Cute. So, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to run to the dollar store now. <laughs> Go get some fabric. <laughs> yeah, now you've got me worried that they're not going to have any. And I went yesterday. Oh my gosh, you're funny. Okay, so my plans are to stitch. <laughs> Hopefully I get there. Well, I 
I got to stitch Saturday. I went up to, we went up to Duchesne to see some family and it's about two hours away. So I was able to stitch. I can't believe you can stitch in the clock, but is it okay? Yeah. The only time you can't stitch is when you're going up the canyon because it's so twisty and it kind of like, I just get frustrated because I don't, I'm moving so much. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, that's like a 20 minute section that I can't stitch. It's pretty impressive. But yeah. Uh, okay. You want to do our giveaway? Yes. So for this one, we could just type in, well, what do we want to ask? Do we have anything to ask? What are your summer, summer plans? plans? Oh, snap. <laughs> So tell us your summer plans, <gasps> and if you're interested in uh, Calendar Crate September, just put September. September. And then for Calendar Crates February, just put February, and you can put all of them, or just the one you're interested in. And then, um, which one for this? Bakery? Yeah, we'll do bakery. And then the last calendar crates March. So you can put in for all of them. You can't win them all. Yes. Um, and there'll be one winner for each. Yes. And we will tell you the winners on our next video. Yes. Okay. Well, you guys, thank you for watching. We'll be back. We will be back. It may be a couple months because it's summertime. So, you know, life is busy. And um, thank you for watching. And we'll see you in our next video. And I want to let you know we will be posting on our Instagram Oh, to keep you guys updated. So we haven't forgotten. We're just a little slow. But yeah. Thank you I need to show my puppy. Yes, we need pictures of your puppy. And I <laughs> will try and finish some things and get those pictures up as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good day. We'll see you later.